Hi guys, hello and welcome back to another video right here on the channel. So, the Evercade cartridge review series continues and we're up to number 31, Sunsoft Collection number one. So, there's six games on this one <clears throat> and I've got to admit that when it's first released I wasn't really that excited. Uh, I knew a couple of the titles but I thought, you know what, let's give it a go. So, before we continue, anybody new here to this series, um, these are Evercade cartridges. They come in a little clam shell box. Inside we have the cartridge and we have what most old school gamers love, an instruction manual. Okay, so let's have a look through that first and uh, I'll tell you what is on this little cartridge. On with the trusty specs. Okay, so brief introduction about Sunsoft. Sunsoft's origin lies with the Sun Electronics Corporation, a company that was founded in 1971 as a manufacturer and vendor of electronics equipment. It began exploring the fledgling video games market in 1978 with two block-breaking games, GT Block Perfect and GT Block Challenger, followed a year later by the company's take on a fixed shooting formula, Galaxy Force. As the early days of the video game medium advanced, Sun Corporation became more adventurous and ambitious with its titles. The company scored several notable early 80s hits, including Arabian, the console port of which can be enjoyed in this collection. The brand Sunsoft first appeared in the latter half of the 1980s, when Sun Corporation decided to move beyond arcade hardware and into the home video game console market. It found a great deal of success with a combination of officially licensed movie tie-in games and original titles, many of which remain beloved to this day. This collection for Evercade brings together some of Sunsoft's most beloved all original 8-bit and 16-bit games. Okay, so let's take a look through the book. Okay, so we have Mr. Gimmick. Blaster Master. Blaster Master Boy. Aero the Acrobat, Journey to Silius, Arabian, and of course the Pokemon advert to collect them all. Okay, so I am going to drop down to the TV, I'm going to play three of my favourite games on the cartridge, then I'm going to come back and offer you my thoughts. Okay folks, first game of the day, Arabian, 1985, Sunsoft. So this one is mad little platformers, you can kick and you can jump. In the top right corner you can see a word, in this case this is animal, so you've got to go around collecting all those little pots there. Avoid the little um, creatures and you get bonus points if you actually spell the words out in the order that they're meant to be. This is tricky as heck, it really is, fantastic little game to start the video with. Sorry, I've gone quiet because I'm just like trying to concentrate on where I'm supposed to be. No! Oh, I thought I got it. Did I get it? Yes, I spelt it. Okay, so what's the word now? Horse. So this will either be liked or it won't. I don't think there's going to be any in between on this one. Personally, I love games like this. Proper old school. Really make you think. Control's a little bit tricky. Got to be pixel perfect like most of the old games, but yeah, absolute quality this one, folks. Like I say, not for everybody, but for this our retro gamer, most definitely. Oh! <laughs> you fall into a trap, you're just playing away and you just think, oh, I've got this, and all of a sudden... Here we go. Get back up and grab that last letter. Where are you going? The Ah, make them immune success, or not, as the case may be. <laughs> oh, let's go and get this final letter and get out of here. So just one criticism, I would like the controls to be a bit more spot on. There we go. Let's try the last level. Well, last level, the next level. Be my last level, probably. 
Okay. <laughs> Already I've messed that up, but I can see there's flying carpets everywhere. Game over, let's leave it there. Second game of the day, let's go for Journey to Silius. Right away, you get onto that music. Boom. Nice little intro. So it's just your basic NES run and gun. Very much in the mould of a Contra. This is that music. Very easy to get in trouble very quickly on this one. A lot going on. It's one of those games it's just like impossible not to love them. The real surprise for me, I've never played this. Like so many games at the time, notoriously tricky. I think the thinking behind that, method of madness behind that was like you got like one game, two games a year, so you had to really literally play them and enjoy them. leave it there. Last title of the day guys, Mr. Gimmick, little intro. Let's do this. So it's just me, or does he remind anybody else of a green Kirby? So notoriously tricky this. Think like a flea. 
I think that's maybe why I enjoy it so much, to be honest. It's like basic run and gun, get across the levels as best you can. It's one of those where you need to kind of remember where all the traps and the enemies are. And obviously that little bit of luck. Let's do it. <laughs> Easily done. You're going to use every single one of those lives. Tricky, tricky, tricky. It's like sometimes, like, you know what's coming, but you just can't avoid it. Why do you play a game that's just so tricky and drives you mad is the question, isn't it? Or just something so different about this one. We're a respite for about three seconds. So close. I've actually made the conscious decision not to actually edit any of this footage at all. I'm just gonna just go for it as it was. Definitely, definitely, definitely use your save state here folks. That'd be my advice. I'm just casually flying through just for fun, just to show you guys. Let's end it here. Let's go for it. Okay, guys, let's go back up top and I'll give you my final thoughts. Welcome back up, folks. So, what did I think overall of the Sunsoft Collection 1? Um, it's an interesting one. The games I played, I really liked. Um, let me read you my notes for the ones that I missed. Okay, so Eru the Acrobat, that was, uh, I think I come across that on the SNES. It's always been a frustrating little game. Lovely music, very colourful. It just, yeah, it didn't make the cut for me. I played too many other platformers, you know, to put this one at such high um, levels. Others may, uh, just my personal opinion. And the two Blaster Master games, I was quite disappointed in, to be honest. Um, I'd heard an awful lot, an awful lot of good about them. And they are a series that's, like, revered by many, many gamers. Um, the... Blaster Master, the original one, uh, I think it was a, a NES title, uh, run and gun, quite interesting. Um, little tank and you can get out with a little guy and you kind of go from like left to right. And Do you know what? I think if you employed save states, I think it probably like, it would be like a lot better. But I'm one of them where I pick a game up these days, like most people, like, you know, you work and you've got commitments. You just want sort of an hour here or 20 minutes there. And I... I just haven't got that time for the game. I'm not saying it's a bad game, you know, and I can see why people like it, but just not for me. Um, and Blaster Master Boy, um, a Game Boy title, best described as a Bomberman clone. Um, 
good fun. Good fun, but the three I picked, I'm going to stand by and still think that they were the better titles on the cartridge. Um, just looking down at my notes here, that's why I keep looking down to the pad. Um, so I thought overall, um, an interesting collection of games, varied. Uh, I say run and go on a few platformers in there, you know, um, they can all be tricky. Um, like I've already previously mentioned, get your save states on the go. Um, this might be for you. You know, some people do like really challenging games and stuff, and I'm all for it. I'm all with it. I understand it. But I thought it was a hard cartridge to review for me because, like I said previous, when it was announced, I was like, yeah, okay. I did the Sunsoft. Um, I played some of the games and stuff, you know, like everyone. But Aero you know, the Acrobat was the one I heard of. And I thought, well, why is this like, you know, headlining the cartridge? So straight away for me, I had that little bit of like, hmm, you know, I'm a collector. I collect them all. I've got every one of them, you know, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy it, for right or for wrong. Um, but what really sticks out for me is what I liked, I liked. And what I didn't, I didn't. It was like a proper black, white, no grey in the middle um, for me. Um, I, I suppose pleasantly surprised overall, but I'm wondering if, and to pardon the pun, the gimmick, um, Mr. Gimmick, um really did kind of just get me like that you know it was like playing the games i enjoyed i felt it was more gimmicky you know like it was like oh look have a look at this you know uh, uh, and whatever um i've got a feeling that this review is going to split a lot of people um uh, because i am really clearly you know um sort of stuck in the middle with this one um ironically just before i finish um my postman is due this morning. I had uh, an email mo notification. Uh, time of filming. This is the Tuesday morning as you're watching the video on a Friday. Um, and I'm getting the Sunsoft Collection 2 along with Pico Collection 4 uh, in the post this morning. So if you haven't already, have a look back and see my first impressions video of that. Um, I hope I'm more there's more energy for that than what there is for this one, folks. Um, listen, I'm going to leave it there. Drop your comments below. I'm sure I'm going to get like a little bit of heat for this one. Um, are you a fan of this? I know a lot of people are. Um, what have I missed with the um, Blaster Master games? Why, why am I not impressed? You know, there's going to be someone out there screaming. You've got to, you know, and I get it. I get it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Um, be sure to watch the first impressions video. Be sure to leave me your comments below. And I'll see you next time.